Hi, it's Leon and Jacob here with another Hot Property Report. And um, from an open house point of view, uh, last weekend was a fantastic weekend for some open houses and disastrous for others. Um, you know, we've had a uh, really good inquiry on some of the cheaper homes and on the more expensive homes, we've had absolutely nobody through our open homes. So it's just, it's really baffling to know you know, why some open houses get a lot of traction on one week and not another, and then um, why some of the more expensive homes that are beautiful homes inside uh, just get nobody at all turn up. So um, really interesting times there from a commercial property sales point of view. Uh, we settled a really good one uh, yesterday. Um, air conditioning guy is going into his brand new shed out there at Wilsonton, so he's very happy about that. He'll be moving into that over the next couple of weeks. Um, we've also got uh, quite a few uh, what I call mid-range tenants, around that thirty to forty thousand dollar a year, still looking around at stuff. Um, we've struggled selling a couple of commercial properties, which I thought would have sold. Uh, one of them's got a seven percent return, uh, the other one's got a net eight percent return. And you'd think in this sort of economic climate, people would be jumping straight back into those commercial properties with eight percent um, net return in them. Um, so that's probably it from me, mate. Yep. Um, anything else you need to explain? I guess from a rental property perspective, we've got two vacant properties at the moment. Uh, one was a break lease and the other one uh, we have discounted a little bit uh, the last couple of weeks. Uh, the owner is uh, keen to get someone in there. Uh, it is a great little property over in Centenary Heights. Um, I think a three bedroom, one bathroom. Uh, it's nicely renovated as well. Uh, and the other one is over in Newtown, um, also nicely renovated. And uh, that will go pretty quickly, we anticipate. Yep. What do you reckon about the uh, council elections? You've been to a couple of the forums? Yeah, so we've been to a couple of the forums. Went to the Chamber of Commerce one last week. Uh, that was really good, I felt. Uh, you know, a lot of uh, young candidates this time, which yeah. is interesting to see. Um, hopefully they get a run, actually, because I think there's some bright ideas there. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. I, I like young Ben. Um, yep. You know, I think he's going to bring a bit to it. Yep. Uh, young Tim, I yep. also think Tim will have a pretty good shot. And I'd like to see a few of those young guys, mm -hmm. and, and girls too. Um, uh, Rebecca Bonhoff, I, yep. think, I think Rebecca would do a pretty good job. Definitely. Um, and uh, Melissa Taylor. Mm. Um, yep. You know, I, I think there's some really good quality tenants uh, that are that are running this time. Quality tenants. Qual good quality <laughs> tenants, yeah, that's right. Quality candidates. Candidates, oh, yeah. tenants, whatever you want to call them. Um, and, and I think that, uh, that the younger ones really need to get in this time. Mm. Um, I think Tulman needs to stop voting as a traditional uh, yeah. base and start to get some young people in there that are going to revitalise those CBD. Um, you know, we, we certainly don't have any agendas with any of the candidates, you know, it's just, you see, you take them as you see them, mm -hmm. and I think some of those guys have really got out there mm -hmm. and, and made a real effort this time, and I think they really deserve to get in and, and maybe shake up the council a little bit, you know? Yeah, you can definitely see those who have run uh, really good campaigns, you know, they've got plenty of corporates out there, they've been out to the regions and they're talking to people, and they seem to be listening as well. Yeah, so, and that's, that's really important, they've got to listen, like, you know, um, I, I like Kerry Shine because Kerry is a very good listener. You know, he gets in there, he listens to people, and he gets the job done. So, you know, there's some really good quality people this time, I think, for council. So, hopefully, it'll be a good result. Mm, yep. And uh, some of the changes that we um, want sort of made, or would, would sort of push from a local business perspective to be made. Uh, you know, we did that video last month. Uh, that did pretty well in relation to the CBD parking um, as a wider sort of category. The, the planning stuff. Um, getting easier planning through for you know the developers that we deal with and investors in town. Well, certainly, just getting some DAs approved mm. mate, would be nice. Um, yep. Not taking two years to get a boundary alignment done. Um, <laughs> from personal experience. Yep. Um, so yeah, look, ho hopefully they'll get in there, make a real, you know, have a real shake mm. up of council, and yep. and get some stuff done. And hopefully we will be uh, business as usual or over yep. for business, as the man likes to call it. Um, and it'd be great just to start to see some of those applications streamlined and a little bit of common sense used in the planning and development section, I yeah. reckon. Yep. Uh, from a wider perspective, coronavirus, do you think it's going to have that much of an effect on the market for the commercial? Um, I, I think over the next three or four months we'll find it pretty tough. Yep. And I think um, it'll just become the new norm and yep. we'll get on with business as usual. Yeah, I definitely think the same thing. Yep. Um, you know, I haven't seen any uh, rental properties, you know. Uh, dwindle in terms of inquiry and stuff like that. People no. still seem to be needing. They still, still need places, places to live. live. Yep. Still need places to work. So yep. uh, the world doesn't stop spinning. All right, that's been uh, Leon and Jacob with another hot property report.